Act 8.1 Path Guide. Yes, that's what this video is all about. What do you mean, Rich? Act 8.1 isn't out yet because this has been recorded on Tuesday, the 20th of September 2022. And you might be thinking, oh, well, he probably has access to the um, some sort of like thing within the content creator beta. No. No, I don't. You can see that on screen. Long story short is when the beta was out, the one for 8.1 back, I don't know, two months ago or whatever, even longer than that, three months ago, I spent two days cultivating a list of champions that would be good to interact on some of the paths. I've done some stuff for the bosses, which is on the spreadsheet, which is in the link in the description. Yes, link in the description. There is a, there is this spreadsheet. Uh, there, are, there is some boss information, but I didn't have a chance to test all of these interactions. I had a chance to test some of them, not all of them. So I would say that, um, not take it with a pinch of salt, because it, some of these champions will actually work against the bosses, but uh, they need to be tested. Like, I need to do more testing when the content goes live. But what I'm going to be doing for the channel is I'm going to be putting out loads of little kind of like interaction based videos uh, based on like the paths and also maybe some boss takedowns. You can see on screen right now, like we've got tabs at the bottom. So let's get the uh, the little red circle up there, which is a bit too big. Get, get down circle. Damn circle. Why is this every time you want the circle? It's always too big. So right at the bottom of the page, you'll see that there's different tabs. I've got a tab here for 8.1.1, 8.1.2, blah, 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 going across here. Auto block, miss and evade counters, immunities and dot, uh, so damage over time. The reason I've popped these in here is because it's like I do need to stretch that out. So when you see the version that's on, um, I think, on the Google spreadsheet, I would have kind of like made this better for, for viewing purposes. And then uh, damage over time. I think these, and also credit to the people. Uh, I think this isn't from an old, um, like, I think it's chronic one damage over time i'll try and find a more up-to-date one but um yeah it just gives you some ideas there of like champions that do the, the types of damage over time uh, effects and those that indeed have the immunities for them but uh yeah this is um this is a little spreadsheet which i've put in the link in the description you can come and check it out and it has loads of things like it has a, a little bit of a, a basic breakdown of like the weapon and disarm and Here's a good example of that kind of like weapon to disarm, and that is this is in Act 8.1.2, so the second the second quest. So the weapon is defender has a buff equals you have a disorient passive. So if an enemy champion gets themselves a buff, and with some of the champions on the route, like Silver Surfer, Dolcock, Odin, Vision, you know, there may be a good chance of you getting one of those buffs. It depends on what the, the second node, like here, feet of energy reach one by a power, the defender gets a, a power gain buff. So they're going to get a buff regardless if they're a champion that has it part of the kit or doesn't two bars defender gets a prowess okay so options to kind of like like deal with this is that you have a disorient passive and you disarm them by knocking them down and then what you do is whilst unarmed more damage from the sp1 so you do an sp1 it does more damage you could look to like many different champions to kind of deal with this i mean i've put, put some like easy rotation to deal with this being like well apoc deals with disorient because you don't get the disorient passive on you because it's disorient immune after certain uh, length of time. I think it's in instant or it's the length of time. I can't remember one of the two. Doctor Doom, SP1 rotation, plays into feet of energy, Penny Parker, uh, Blackwater Clairvoyant, uh, deal with the power game buff, any champion that kind of suppresses with stagger, the list goes on. There's tons of tons of champions that deal deal with this one. But it gives you an idea of like how that node works, that weapon node to disarm it, and uh, you know how you kind of like interact with it. Uh, a lot of the time, it's either going to be like punish with a heavy to disarm, uh, knock down. So like you know just like slap them down, doom slap to you know doom slap them down. And it's like well you've knocked them down, so you're in that disarm stage. Uh, so that could be a very easy path depending on like how you want to rotate around that and what champions you have to deal with it. Um, parry heavies. The, again, list goes on. There's tons, tons of ways to deal with this particular uh, interaction and various different types of weapon and disarm. This particular spreadsheet will not have any kind of like final boss kind of counters or kind of like how to do the champion. And that is just because this spreadsheet is a work in progress. A lot of the time when I build these spreadsheets is that I will go through the content first, then build this or make or go through act 8.1.1 and then do a full guide to it so it will probably be something similar to that where everything is broken down which is similar to a set of guides that i put out on the channel a little while ago and i'll probably continue doing this and kind of do it as like explore like 8.1.1 8.1.2 8.1.3 
point one point two and do like full kind of breakdowns and guides for these particular things which are then broken down into little kind of like pin um, pin comments no uh, time codes so you can just click on the different sections but I will be doing a lot of these kind of like these path these champions cheese this path type content just because a bit of fun as soon as act 8.1 uh, is really now if you want any rewards information they're in the link in the description also I should be live streaming this it just depends because I do have meetings that are right after or between a certain point where I've got to come off of the live stream to do the meetings and I probably won't be coming back because it's a long meeting I've got to attend and also I'm preparing content in order to go on uh, on a break on holiday and as well I'll be looking to do a dissection of the what, let's, let's face it, we're probably going to get an offer. So Act 8.11 kind of completion offer. I'll be looking to do a kind of like breakdown of is it worth going for and getting, especially with Cyber Weekend being right around the corner and comparing it against things like July 4th deals, how they were, and especially for Paragon players. So yeah, that's definitely going to be something I'll be kind of looking into. So uh, lots of content coming out on the channel and streams and coverage and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so it should be good. I look forward to seeing you then. I'm also pretty certain that not a lot of things have changed with the certain champions and paths. And look out for certain certain things that are very interesting. I mean, look at this. Like on 8.1.1, there is a path 3, where it's Mystic Focus, hold, uh, which is Hold Block, Power Gain, Buff. Mystic Consumption equals power Prowess when nullifying. Root every 8 seconds. And uh, when rooted, you get Disorient. Again, like certain things to kind of look around. But then look at paths. Like if there's, and I've made a note there, like any Mystics, Dr. Doom. But also note that there's uh, three Metal Champions on the particular path. However, I must point out, since going through, my biggest kind of takeaway from um, when I did the beta was, it is very much a case that Dr. Doom, Magneto, isn't overly used like act seven was incredibly magneto countery if that's even a word uh, and it was only very rarely i would see situations where magneto would be like a hundred percent like lock for the paths i mean yeah there's certain instances like that well there's a an apocalypse on one route and it's like okay well i could use that for that and then in other routes there's something like there's there's one here where it's like okay there's yeah, give me shell to get lots of loads of buff and deals with auto block uh, but as well you've got the cosmic grit but as well you've got champions like magneto to deal with dark hawk misty knight hulk buster archangel and rocket actually i think there's five i could have got that wrong actually i think misty knight's there so one two three four five hashtag metal champions providing rocks rockets one but definitely four definitely four and i'm pretty certain five with that one but then if you go to like other ones like it's very rarely i've put Magneto as a counter for some of them. I mean, check it out in, in the link in the description. Check out this. If it helps people out, it helps people out. And um, yeah, I'll be going off this one and I'll be changing and tweaking it in order to kind of like bring the improvements there. Interacting with boss with more kind of information as to like how I kind of took them down. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd create this. If it's interesting to you and you want to use it, please do. Link is in the, in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Check out some other content located on screen and I'll see you in the next video whenever that be. Cheers. Bye-bye.